At the beginning of the story, the Avengers are chasing Spider-Man through the busy streets of New York City. Spider-Man tries to persuade the Avengers that they are all brainwashed by the Great Manipulator after cornering him. During their earlier battle in a warehouse, the Grand Manipulator used a gadget known as the Resequencer to scramble the Avengers' thoughts. Since then, Spider-Man has gotten the gadget back and intends to give it to a university buddy so that they can disable it and free their thoughts. Captain America is on board with Spider-Man's strategy, but they want to find a solution that doesn't hurt anyone. It was Spider-Man, not the Avengers, who was mind-controlled, as Captain America reveals. With an approachable air, Thor approaches Spider-Man and respectfully asks that he give over the gadget, Thor tells Spider-Man that if his friend deactivates the gadget wrong, it will confuse everyone's mind in New York City, including Spider-Man's own mind, something that Thor finds entertaining, occasionally frustrating, but generally entertaining. After realizing he has no chance against the Avengers, Spider-Man wisely decides to hide the gadget in his backpack and quickly flees, he intends to evade the Avengers while delivering the gadget to his buddy, just as Iron Man is about to catch up to Spider-Man, the latter manages to short out his armor and squirm away. Black Panther concedes that Spider-Man possesses exceptional intelligence and that he has had 12 hours to devise strategies for their defeat. She-Hulk rushes at Spider-Man, but he effortlessly evades her blows, after that, Captain Marvel flies in, seizes him by the throat, and makes him give up. However, Spidey currently has a secret tactic, he puts web fluid into a capsule and puts it into her mouth. On his way out, he gives Captain Marvel the assurance that the webbing will disintegrate in under a minute. While planning his break-in, Spider-Man unexpectedly encounters Blade, a quarrel ensued. Black Panther gets involved as well, Blade grabs Spider-Man and says, let's see you bounce around now. In response, Spider-Man clarifies that he does more than just bounce around. Black Panther then kicks Spider-Man and says, we don't want to hurt you. Spider-Man is seized by Captain, who approaches from behind and implores him, please believe us, son. We're not the bad guys. Spider-Man manages to evade his grasp. The captain manages to snag the bag, but to his dismay, it is empty. As soon as they begin to comprehend this, Spider-Man unleashes a web ball on them, causing it to explode. In the midst of his escape, Spider-Man entangles the heroes in a web of his own making, Thor reaches for his shirt, but Spider-Man deftly sidesteps the attack and swoops to safety. The Avengers set out to locate Spider-Man, but they were unsuccessful, at long last, Iron Man tracks him down, closes in on him, issues a warning, and implores him not to flee. Iron Man receives the gadget from Spider-Man, Thor returns Spider-Man's shirt and says, your shirt in exchange for the contraption. Spider-Man, where is the actual sequel? Captain America is still skeptical and claims he switched it. After the Avengers made their move to stop him, Spider-Man admitted he had already given the gadget and kept them busy until they deactivated it. The Avengers wasted no time in making their way to the university in response to this info, only to find that Professor Crassus had already disabled the gadget. When the Avengers start to wonder how their thoughts can be left untouched, Spider-Man steps in to disclose that they are all actually subject to mind control, he is stopped by Iron Man, who shows him footage from yesterday, illuminating that Spider-Man was also impacted, there is, however, an additional clip that reveals the Avengers to be impacted as well. Once again, Iron Man and Black Panther admit that their memories have been manipulated, proving that both recordings are true and that there are two parallel realities occurring in the same timeline. Out of nowhere, the Professor becomes the Grand Manipulator who has been interfering with their lives and keeping them in the dark about his actual intentions, something goes wrong after he turns on the device, despite his revelation that he plans to use it to transform the world into his own. Spider-Man says that he didn't feel really connected to their friendship when he thought back on it, to be on the safe side, he tweaked the apparatus, but in the end, it erased the Professor, following that, they expressed their apologies to one another before parting ways. Like this video if you enjoyed it, as well as becoming subscriber to this channel.